want to say that part of the reason we're here is we're starving, and the food here is great. The other part of it, though, is that uh, right now, this uh, establishment is providing a 10% discount to all federal workers who are on furlough. Plus a cookie. And plus a cookie. And that, I think, is you know, an indication of how ordinary Americans look out for each other and uh, aren't obsessed with uh, politics and aren't trying to uh, extract concessions out of each other. They just try to make sure that everybody's doing their job and that uh, we're doing what's best for the country. And right now, the House of Representatives has the opportunity to do the exact same thing. This furlough, or uh, this shutdown could be over today. We know there are the votes for it in the House of Representatives. And as I said yesterday, if Speaker Boehner will simply allow that vote to take place, we can end this shutdown. A whole bunch of families, not just here in Washington, but all across the country, will have the certainty that a paycheck will be coming, that they'll be able to make their mortgage, that they'll be able to uh, pay their expenses, that they'll be able to look after their families, uh, and we can get back to what we should be focused on every single day, and that's how we make sure that we've got a strong middle class in this country, that anybody who's willing to work hard can get ahead. Uh, and when it comes to negotiations, I've said I am happy to have negotiations with uh, the Republicans and Speaker Boehner on a whole range of issues. But we can't do it uh, with a gun held to the head of the American people. So reopen the government, make sure we're paying our bills, two basic functions that Congress has, uh, and take your cues from folks like this, you know, who are more interested in making sure that everybody uh, is being treated fairly and properly and less interested in politics and scoring points.